Send him to replace and parts the storage room, okay. Uh, replacement parts. How many do we need? Do we know? Let's grab them all. Red button doesn't look like an evac button, I agree. We took replacement parts and he can do repairs. Select him and order the repair to the leak of the evacuation hatch in the gallery. Okay. Destination is currently inaccessible. so weird like you've got these green dots and then over here you had this like tiny red thing underneath the text like how is that an action button when you've got these massive red icons here it's so bizarre now select cola to turn on the pump and pump out the water from the lake Captain. Pump can pump out water of more components uh, compartments on board, but because the resistance of the pipes is most efficient to do this from the central compartment. Although there's no need now, at deeper depths you may be forced to carry water with buckets to the central compartment to pump it outside. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Blow the ballast tanks in the surface. Low air reserves, not good. Is he doing it? Repair completed. Something's not right here. Yeah, the depth meter's like set. Tanks anblasen. There we go. I mean, for a tutorial, it really does miss out loads of things. Like, it says blow the tanks, but then doesn't say set the depth meter. So you end up not doing that, and you sit here going, why are we not going up? Well, a pharaoh bird, I, yes and no, mate. I mean, the game's tutorial should basically be enough to teach you what to do i think but it kind of seems to miss out things Wechseln auf diesel motor. we've used most of our compressed air reserves the emergency blowing we have uh, to use the air compressor to regenerate them but it's located in the flooded compartment it's time to dry the stern compartment Open the bulkhead leading to it and start repairs. Remember to repair the hole at the top of the hole first. After that, take the air compressor and turn it on. Right. One more thing. Before you open the bulkhead, I suggest you equip the engineer with an oxygen mask from the storage room. Without it, you won't be able to perform the eventual repairs under the water surface in the compartment. Flippin' heck. Right. Uh, so which one's the engineer? Is that Felix? It is, isn't it? It's got the spanner there. So if we go to... Happy anniversary. 
Have we actually got a diving thing left? Where's the breathing apparatus? Uh, good night, Lindsay Smith. Have a good one. Seems they rushed the tutorial for the game. Thought, yeah, I think I think so. Maybe presently, maybe the tutorial is going to be flushed out a lot more. You see. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the diving equipment was on the guy that went diving. Ah, breathing apparatus. Fair enough. So diving and breathing is not the same. Gotcha. Wow, James, that's a bit harsh, don't you think? Right, has he got the breathing equipment on him? Yep, he's got that. So... I, I'm not happy with opening this bulkhead like with these guys in here. Isn't the water just going to pour from there to there and just flood this whole thing? I mean, don't we have to basically get these guys out of here, close that bulkhead? I, I just don't get how we can go into here. Well, even if the pumps are running, if you open that door, which I don't see how you could anyway, but surely it's just going to... Okay, well, we'll do it anyway. Yeah, I know you're on the surface, but even so, there's a lot of water there. Well, dense is another word for stupid, Captain Flint. So basically he's saying I'm stupid because I can't work out the interface. He's just rude, ignore him. Did he just knock on the door? <laughs> right, get to it, pal. So it looks like the water flow... ...is not immediate. Which is weird. No, I don't think he's a troll. I think he's just rude. <laughs> Straight up. Right, so that's that repaired. Replacement part will be consumed to repair this. I don't think we've got that many repair parts, you know. Battery capacity 95%. Um... Right, so replacement part will be consumed to repair this. So we're better doing the electric engine first or the diesel compressor. I guess the diesel compressor. Even though it says repair the air compressor, then repair the electric engines. So let's do this. Because we need that to fill up the tanks, don't we, and stuff. Charge the generator, charge the batteries. We're going to have absolutely no parts left after this. What happened to the um, the fleet that was hunting us? Did we just basically evade them? You, oh, you can make more spare parts, gotcha. Is that pump still running?
Can't we get this other guy to do something useful? Diesel compressor, what's he doing now? Right, so it has like three stages of repair. And it came back on when he got to the first one. Where are we in the world? We are kind of, well, southwest of the Norwegian coast in the North Sea. Down the left corner is a tab of a guy you've selected and you can see a button to add crew to the task. It will decrease the time of workload. There's nothing in the left corner, very much. Unless you mean this. Add sailor. Happy anniversary. But surely that other guy would need stuff with him. Like parts and stuff. Duke, 1824, another purple button. Thank you for 26 months, sir. Okay, right, fix that. I don't see many people helping. Adding sellers doesn't work for all jobs. Ah. He's there for moral support. Here he is. He's like, hey. Oh, no, he's not. He's like, hey. I think I'll just leave you to it. <laughs> Do you want a cup of tea? <laughs> what is he doing? I've been told to help, but I don't know how. I've been told to help, but I don't know how. I've been told to help, but I don't know how. Oh my god. Is he actually fixing? Oh, there you go. Get the other guy to do something. Happy Where is this guy? Oh, there you go. If you right click, it jumps to that person. You see? It doesn't tell you that in the tutorial. Found that by accident. Lamp and Bow, thank you for 17. Welcome back. Mr. Mike, thank you for 27. Be Saber with a month to 24. Thank you, guys. Uh-oh. Are we going to dive again? Shoot down the aircraft? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. I'll let him get up there and take control. It's easier. Ooh, that was close. H E or A P on this guy. Oh. 
It's really difficult on board a, a submarine that's bobbing up and down. Oh, he's turning. He's coming in. Get wrecked, son. That aircraft flew too fast after our boat was detected by the destroyer. There has to be an aircraft carrier nearby. I, I like the slow motion wreckage. There's a hydrophone mounted on your boat. If the aircraft carrier is moving, we may be able to detect it. Whoa! Explosives coming in? Oh my god. This guy's dying in slow motion. <laughs> Select Adam Newman, our radio officer, and assign him to listening on the hydrophone. Adam Newman, right. Go listen on the radio. For some reason. It won't let me do anything. Is it forced or something? I'm right clicking, I'm not getting a menu. Click on the eye underneath. Remember that in order to detect anything with our current J GHG hydrophone, you first need to submerge to at least some depth. Send any free officer to the valves in the control room. Um, shouldn't we get the guy off the deck first? What's he doing? Leave him the check for damage. I don't know how you check for damage. I mean, it looks okay. But you've got all these guys on deck. You can't just suddenly start diving. That looks damaged. Look, it's only got one out of four bars on it. That's got three. That's, that's been hit. Uh, if you wanted to dive, the sub won't dive until everyone is inside. Gotcha. Right. Sets the free officer to the valves in the control room. Right. Come on, Cola, get on with it. So if we set a depth of, I don't know. Let's do that. And then the radio guy, where is he? He's listening. Detect the enemy aircraft. So I have no context menu for him. I can hear stuff. Hydrophone contact. It worked. The radio man clearly heard the propeller of a large vessel not far from here. 
Turn on the map and click the right mouse button on the aircraft group to set course to it. Alrighty then. Now send any officer to the valves to surface back again. Long distance travels under the water are definitely slower and less economical. The fast travel mode is not available at the time. No, 30 is fine. Wait, did he? Wait, he said 50 meters in German, but I set it to 30. That's hilarious. Captain. Um. <laughs> he said 50 meters, and I set 30. That's brill. Yeah, fumph is five, isn't it? We're going to need all the torpedoes to get such a prize. Select our engineer west. Send it to a torpedo. Um, to load a torpedo and the one of the free launches. Um, okay. Happy anniversary. Uh, PC Kelly, haven't had a chance much to be around lately, but just wanted to share with you guys. I'm getting married in two weeks. PC Kelly, have a great, great wedding. Thank you for 32 months. LaFerrari36, thank you for subbing. Welcome to the house, LaFerrari. And uh, Benjamin, 25 months. Hope you and the family are well. Absolutely love the streams. Got my Yachts 5 hoodie ordered and immensely excited. Keep up the good work. I've got my Yachts 5 t shirt on. What's up, Wyland? Right, where do we load torpedoes? Select our engineer west and send him to load a torpedo in one of the free launches. I, I okay. Is that free? Is your order to carry torpedo to launches? Yes. What's the difference between T1 and T2? Like we're not actually there we are, we're actually going up now. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. Switch to diesel engines. I take it he just automatically doing that. Wait, we still have water in here. Captain. How do we get rid of all this water? Afternoon. In the storage room. Didn't he say something like transfer it to the center? I think he said the, the central bit is the one with the best pump, so you have to like bucket it to the main bit. I don't know what all these icons are down here. I don't know what these are. Circle, electric and water. So that means it's got power. That's the hull integrity maybe, and it's flooded. Maybe. Hey, donkey. Right, has he got water on board? So, does he go to here? Turn on the pump from the middle. Where is the pump? Echo sounder, light switch, bilge. Quarters. I don't know what the pump was. The bilge, is that it? Residual water in the compartment.
See if we can get rid of this water. Seems to walk in with a bucket of water. And then you click on that and you just kind of pause it into it, I think. If you click on the blue drop icon, you are looking at the orders of the men to start bailing the. Ah, right, okay. Gotcha. So if you do that and that. Is it only one at a time? Carrying water to bilges, there we go. Right, so you can do it manually or you just do it automatically like that. Got it. So, what is, is that the structural integrity and that the electricity then? Is that shown as the status of that section? That's the water gone at that one. Again, though. 79% fuel. Let's see where we are in the world. Yeah, we definitely get, get our submarines sorted out before we go into battle. The green circle... The, the green circle is shutting off the room. The lighting is shutting off the power. Gotcha. I was going to say it sounds like it's raining. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, you can also manually flip the breakers in small side cabinets in the sub. Blimey. Why are all these guys asleep? and not actually helping with the um, water extraction. All right, it looks like we've sorted out the water problem. Because they need to be assigned to the officers to start working. Is it because it's tutorial mode, they're not letting me do anything with these guys? Where's our engineer? You gonna fix that, mate? The game looks quite detailed. Still needs some polishing in the UI and tutorial, but there's definitely a lot of potential. I think when I read the Steam reviews, Boatman's, that's pretty much what people were saying. They were saying there's a lot of potential here, um, but right now it's buggy and the tutorial isn't very good. So you might want to wait for a bit. But I just thought, well, let's jump in and see what it's like. I think once you get your head around the UI, which is a bit weird, it massively helps. And then I'm starting to learn where things are and how the game kind of works. But somebody in chat said earlier, just forget the tutorial, just go and do a scenario and it'll all make a lot more sense. Yeah, and save regularly. <laughs> save regularly is like the number one advice. <laughs> uh, the way you assign people to an, off an officer early, if you do that uh, to all of them, they will each get men to help. Got you. So when you click on a person on the right here, 
but you can't see that. Hold on. I put myself maybe like there. Maybe that'll help. Um, if you click on one of the guys down here, and then when he's doing something, just assign more men to him. It says, add sailor. Sailor may aid officer and perform tasks to complete them faster and better results. It also shows you what he's carrying. Like, he's got the... He's got the breathing stuff, hasn't he? Can you recharge the breathing apparatus? Oh, you can actually assign him a role. Character screen. Wait, you can actually... Can you name him? <gasps> you can change his name? XP, skills... What the heck? Wait, so your... Your, your crew, you can individually name and they have their own skill tree. And you can change his clothes as well. I'm seeing a return of Jeff Jefferson. Anonymous gift to uh, EMP Dumpster Diving. Welcome, EMP. Thank you for the anonymous gift. Status bearded. Go back to steering mode, and if you're close to the carrier, go underwater and slow engine so you go silent. Yeah, we're miles away at the moment. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. Large group, 10 to 24. Blimey. So I think the ship is in a good state of repair now. Um, I think... Everything's loaded up down here. Required leader. Required engineer. That's all this about. G7A torpedo, T T1, steam propelled torpedo, electric torpedo. Ah, which is the better one? Hold down control key to move items one at a time. At the moment, we've got purely electric. Right click the torps and the tubes to order preheating. What, all four tubes? The T1 is faster. Steam have a longer range and a much faster and much more reliable electric. Don't have a trail, but suck at everything else. So we're better off swapping them out. Wait, can you only do one at a time? GameStop, welcome to the house. Thank you for the anonymous gift to GameStop. Thanks, Mr. Whiteland. Lol. New tea. Well, it seems the new nut creeps ever closer. Can't believe it's been that so long already. 45 months, new tea. Torpedoes are massive. Look at the size of that. What's he doing? Is he polishing it? <laughs> That's really cool. Look at that. Takes time. He's greasing it. Yeah, boy. 
Right, so we've got T1s in the upper and T2s in the lower. Oh yeah, you can shoot Q jobs with the control key. I remember that. There we go. How's that? Preheating removes the chance for a dud torpedo. Warming up the torpedo. <laughs> I never knew you had to warm torpedoes up. Right, let's see where we are. Uh, oh boy, we're four miles away. We are in the area where we detected the aircraft carrier earlier. Visibility is very low. Send Kohler to the conning tower to target the targeting site so he can help look for the enemy. Consider that U-boats on the surface are harder to spot than the average ship. Night and bad weather work for us and allow us to get closer to the enemy without detection. Hmm. So it's basically saying you can go along the surface for a bit, but it doesn't really tell you how close you could get. Right, Carla. Get in the conning tower. How do we know if it's warmed up? Hold control key to move items one at a time. Warm up torpedo. I don't know if he's warmed it up or not. Surface at night submerged by daylight. The Shadow Demon, thank you for 19 months. Looks like we're still quite far away here. Heroic, eight months. Keep up the great work, thank you. I take it he's now searching. Targeting site observation. Uh, good night, Bismarck. Thank once again for the uh, the rater. Right, so is everything ready? I think we've got a guy in the listening room, but I don't know why. I think we're torpedo loaded. He's warming it up. I think. Yeah, it looks like it takes a while to warm up. Performing maintenance work on the torpedo to eliminate the risk of a dud. It's some pretty nasty weather. Doing 11 nautical miles an hour. Flipping out. <laughs> He's comforting the torpedo. It's like, there, there, it'll all be good. I don't know if you warmed up the right. Oh, there, there you go. Let's get that one warmed up. You think we should submerge just before we get into uh, sight range? Before you go to bed, switch from electric batteries to diesel to save on fuel. Uh. Uh. <laughs> 
Electric batteries to diesel. I thought we were on diesel. We're burning diesel, aren't we? Electric capacity is 100%. Burning a lot of fuel. Right. We've still got 74% fuel, haven't we? It's going to stay warmed up for a bit. Give it, give it another warm. Yeah, I think the, the batteries are fully charged at the moment. But I don't know how we switch to electric engine, to be honest. If you hit the electric engine on the speedy thing... Oh, I see. We go to that one. One second. Diesel motor. Electric motors. Happy anniversary, Like that, you mean? X Mad Matty, give the good work. Thank you for 18 months, sir. You're liking the truck and dies has been back. Thank you, Mad Matty. You only run on electric when submerged. Interesting. Why is the battery capacity going down, then? The diesel compressor's still going, but now the electric compressor and pumps and the electric engines are going, and we're definitely... Taking battery power. E motor's not so fast surfaced. Well now yeah, we're only doing seven knots now. When it was on the diesel. We're on the diesel motors, we're doing eleven, I think. Compressors in the rear. We generate supplies of the compressed air bottles located outside the pressure hole. Right. We're getting pretty close here. Send more people to the engine room to unlock the other two speeds on the dial. Oh, really? Oh, is that how you get that? Do you assign more people to the engine room? <laughs> As diesel needs oxygen electric power, you should always use diesel on the surface electric when submerged. That was my thought, to be honest. But also, it's quicker. The diesel engines are much quicker. This guy looks tired. Or something. I'm not sure what that bar is at the bottom, but he's on like half a bar. I think, I'm guessing that's his rest state. Right, do we dive before we get into view, or do we get into view and then dive? Because it's pretty bad visibility as well. Hey, Tim boy. 
Realistically view first, yeah. That makes sense. So wait for the guy to report carrier in sight, and then we dive. I would suggest. Go to the crossed out eye, hover your mouse over that, and it will show you your visibility. Crossed out eye. I have no idea what that is. Alarm! We spotted the aircraft carrier. It has separated from its escort, probably because of the fog. It has a great moment to attack. Crossed out eyes on the right side. Oh, that thing got you. That. Gotcha. Uh, in some of those situations, remember to keep your boat at right distance to stay undetected. Click highlighted button and choose first forward gear engines. So it wants us to go down to forward one. Langsamer. Let's start the targeting process. Select Officer Curler. In the upper left part of the screen, you'll see a list of targets spotted by the officer. Click the right mouse button on the aircraft carrier to start the targeting process. This will make the officer focus on taking the bearings from the target instead of, for example, looking for new ones. Gotcha. It doesn't look like we're actually moving, but we are doing five knots. Icons at the very top show speed, depth, and rudder shift. Gotcha. Can I move chat down? Can do one sec. If you want, it will go up as soon as they begin to see you. What will? Um, what are we looking for in these numbers then? Sonar detectability, 49%. Right. I need to pause this a second. Because we need to work out some stuff here. You know what? I'm going to move myself as well. I'm going to go... Uh, Probably going to go down there or something. It's kind of hard to stay out of the way in this game. There's so much, like, pop-up information, but... Maybe there. So, sonar detectability 12% determines how audible your boat is to the active sonars on the surface. That sounds like quite a lot. Go deck wash. What does that mean? The, the game hasn't taught me anything about deck wash. I have no clue. Uh, the radar signature, 877 centimeters. Radars whose wavelength is longer than this value won't be able to detect you. Okay. Click on the depth tab. Right. What are you supposed to be going to bed and not confusing the guy? Lol. <laughs> if you go to the if you go on the icons on the top depth, it will give you the options of what to do. Deck wash gives you 
Hover over the three options. Ah, right. Surface the ship, deck awash, periscope depth. Right, okay, this is new. So what's that going to do exactly? Is it going to basically bring it so just this whole part is above the water? How can you guarantee that with waves so high, though? Noise, 96, 97 decibels. Not much use when it's choppy. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Right, we're well, one nautical mile away. Shouldn't we be going to electric engines at some point? Noise is like a hundred decibels. Might want to go to act on gear first option from top. Well, I'm kind of waiting for the tutorials to teach me how to get a firing solution. Like, it's not told me what to do yet. You can't wait until you're close to submerged since you will see them well before they will see you. Just bear in mind we're on the, um, we're on the tutorial right now, so... What's our distance to target? See, it says visibility 27%. Colors, good burning on the target. It's a good time to fire. Select Officer Cola and then click on the left mouse button on the aircraft carrier on the list. Really? It's raining, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's let the officer then click on the left mouse button on the aircraft carrier on the list. Now click the highlighted button to open the torpedo interface. Find me. You can go to periscope depth to use the hydrophone to get a better solution. Gotcha. I'll click on the launch sequentially to flood the... How many tops are we going for? Three to four? Jeez, man. <laughs> All right. Four torpedoes. Ultra sync. Now click on the launch to sequentially to flood them. We've done that. It's only a 50% firing solution. Were you seeing that? Is that it? 53% though. So one, what's this? One nautical mile, bearing 224. Range, I'm not sure what that means. Zero, not, oh, the speed of the torpedo maybe. 53% solution.
Should we go down to like periscope depth to do this? Kind of feel like we're bobbing around here quite a bit. I don't want to fire while the front of the ship is like literally out the water. Can we have a torpedo cam now? Can we like watch them go in? How do we get a better view? You can only see the torpedoes when you zoomed out. How does that work? Welcome back, Nata. Camera button on the target, bottom left. Twenty seconds. I don't know where they're coming from. Ten seconds to impact. Oof. Minimal damage. Minimal damage. It's outrageous. I take it the other two completely missed. Oh no, they're on the way. These are the electric ones, I think, coming in. I think maybe they're gonna miss. Nope, I think they've missed. Is there no way you can queue up commands? I feel like I have to do this one at a time. It's sitting nicely to you, I know, right? It's just sitting there going... <laughs> New contact, unknown group. Escape from the escort. I don't think we're going to get another shot. The ring of the alarm bells in the escort is heard. It's only a matter of time before they detect us. Okay. Character is busy. Okay, you can do it then. 180 meters? Jeez. Press control to Q. I tried control, but it says press control to do one at a time. When escaping from the enemy underwater, remember that most hostile warships have hydrophones on board. Because of that, it's going to turn off everything that emits sound on your ship. If you move the cursor to detection notification on the right part of the screen, you will see a list of such devices. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Noise, gyro compass, electric compressor, pumps, diesel engines. Yikes. Wechseln auf e -Motor. He told me a while back to save. Dude, every time I tried to save, it just kept saying that it, it, it couldn't save in the tutorial mode. It's not possible to save during tutorial mission. So I can't. I can't save. Why are we in super slow mode? Not save the file, save the officer. Right. <laughs> 
Why are we in bionic man mode? Mr. Andy, thank you for 23, sir. Welcome back, Stu. Good afternoon, joints. How do we... How do we get out of slow-mo? Order any officers to turn off the gyro compasses. Its use is rather limited underwater. Okay. You're busy, you're busy. You're loading stuff. Um, where's the gyro compass? Go sound and... Uh, I have no idea where the gyro compass is. It's in the middle. Go sound. There it is. Oh yeah, that was the... Yeah, I remember now. It looks like a bin. <laughs> looks like one of the trash cans. I think we're going to get sunk. Bismarck, go to bed, mate. We'll be fine. When are we going to actually start diving? There we go. Run silent. Run deep. Well, we hit the carrier, but it said minimal damage. Electric engines, pumps, compressor. What can we turn off? Can we turn off the electric compressor? Unfortunately, we have to stop there. All four tops hit, two were minimum, two were severe, but you didn't notice the other two you thought you'd missed. Yeah, I thought they'd gone... I thought they'd gone past Borat. You'll be able to learn from another fate of the crew in one of the upcoming updates. If you wish to keep playing, we suggest you choose sandbox mode. After completing this tutorial, you should be ready for the challenges of managing a submarine. Really? We hope you enjoyed the game. Remember to report suggestions, blah, 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 blah. I love that. <laughs> you should be ready. As if. You should be ready for sandbox. Alright, sandbox mode. Safe mode, normal, German, realistic earth curvature. Yeah, let's do it. We got this now. Yeah, we're now an expert submariner. Flat Earth mode. <laughs> All the flat earthers will be like, "Yes, yeah, see, we told you." Can squirrels swim? Yes. Spatial dragon. Thank you for twenty-one. Panzer hit 38. Thank you, sir. I'll tell you what, it takes a while to load. So does that mean we can control all the officers now? But it doesn't tell you how. It's like you now have access to everything on the submarine, but we've not told you how to use most of it. All back at base. Recruitment. Transmission from HQ. 
I think I need to rename everyone so we can actually, like, get to know them better. You know what I mean? Sandbox is a game so much to do in Sandbox. Right, so what, what do we need to do? Do we need to recruit some people then? Or have we got enough people to start with? Kapitän, das kann deine neue Crew sein. Lassen Sie mich wissen, wenn Sie Ihre Dokumente sehen möchten. Show me their files. I will choose crew for next assignment. Goodbye. Okay. Price. We've got 6,000 credits. <laughs> Wolfgang Schultz. Class, whatever that is. Klaus Wagner. Do we need to get anybody? You have enough people. You need to buy supplies and make sure all your tubes are loaded before you leave port. So, okay, just to be clear then, we don't need to waste money on crew right now, yeah? Well, chat, we can't put chat anywhere useful because it basically is always in the way. Right, warehouse. Let's see what we've got in stock. Wolfgang has an iron cross and therefore experience. You don't have enough spare crew already. Gotcha. Yeah, when we get to see, like, the chat is in a better position anyway. Right, what have we got in storage? Gallery. Where's the storage box gone? Alright, so we've got four replacement parts, four first aid, 20 absorbers, whatever they're for. Scrap metal. Engineers can salvage spare parts at a ratio of two to one. I don't know what it is, Echolos. I have no idea. Is that enough stuff then, or do we need to get more? Need food. So that's not enough food. Warehouse then. <laughs> this dodgy bloke. Show me what you got. Take a look. Food. There we go. Add more fuel and fill up on torpedoes. One Reichmark per ton. And we have 7,200. Okay, that's all right, so full up on fuel. Torpedoes will take another couple of T ones. Eight hundred to go. Jeez, man. I take it when you sink things you earn money. Yeah, the fuel is cheap, the torpedoes are not. Blimey. Why are the electric more expensive even though they're worse? That doesn't make any sense. Torpedoes, items. 9,000 for a diving suit. 9,000. See, remember the tutorial when we cut that guy loose? We're basically writing off that guy and 9,000 Reichmark worth of stuff? That's insane. Drinking coffee recovers officers' energy by about 20%. Well, they should make stronger coffee, shouldn't they? When are you going to get some flying videos? Soon, TM. Uh, small caliber HE ammo. What else do we need? Food. Sausages. What's the cheapest food we can get, then? Dried fish. A standard food ration place in the gallery, so cook it to use to make dishes. So that's luxury. Yeah, they can have chips and fish. Chips and fish every day that we're at sea. <laughs> that's the standard 
And for afterwards, for afterwards, a bit of a fruit salad. <laughs> and cheese, but no crackers. <laughs> That's what you get on a submarine. Life's hard. Fish and chips every day. Like the the chef on the submarine has a menu. And he, and he basically it says one thing, fish and chips and fruit salad. And he just gives that and says, what would you like from the menu? We ain't got enough room for sausage. Although I'm not sure what we're meant to do with this. Yeah, you can have cheesy chips if you want. That's it, we're done. There's nothing else to do. I kind of feel like we should have more replacement parts though. Your second engineer turns scrap into spare parts. Oh. Right. Have we got enough there, do you think? Yeah, I don't get this. There's no spare capacity somewhere. I want to upgrade my ship. What do I do? Upgrades. Welcome back. Gee, look at those upgrades. Welcome. They're so good. You spent all your money. Are you serious? I just whoa. What can I have a refund? Happy anniversary, Nutter. I've decided I don't want as many of the, as many potatoes. Yeah, that fish is expensive, man. How's that then? Is that enough food, do you think? Because I have literally no clue how much food we need. Ninja Noodle, thank you for five. That's plenty. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, no. Hang on. Uh... Listening room. Ooh. You can upgrade the toilet. <laughs> Didn't even notice the toilet. Right, we'll, we won't bother with the upgrade. Now you have money for parts and upgrades. We do. Right, I remember it saying something about there was a message from HQ. Uh, let's see. What is this guy? He's busy loading up torps. He's cooking. He's listening to the radio. What's the research? I don't know. Where's the research? Research is on the menu button. Journal management, U-Boatpedia, headquarters. Okay. Snorkels, armored conning towers, torpedoes, ammunition production, equipment production, radar detector, military stash. Wait, so this is the research tree, aerial reconnaissance. The snorkel is great. What does it do? What does the snorkel allow you to do then? Does it allow you to get wreckage and stuff? Helps you. I'm sure it does, Spatial Dragon. Largest, longer snorkel, so you might be able to stay underwater for longer. I 
allows you to run. Oh, it's for the engine. It's, I thought the snorkel was for the crew. Ah, oh, right, okay. Some of the Dutch submarines that we captured use a curious device called, and called them a sniffer. <laughs> it's a pipe system that allows them to use the diesel engines while staying at periscope depth. As the danger from the Allied aircrafts increases with each passing month and surface of the seas becomes too dangerous to operate for the U-boats, this technology may prove to be vital. We're already working on the adaptation of technology for our U-boats, but advice from the experienced officer serving on the U-boat would be uh, would help to develop it much faster. Time to complete 71 hours. Engineer. Let's put the Hoff on it. You don't have any officers staying on land that match the requirements of this mission. Rip. <laughs> Rip. So, oh man. So in order to do this, I need to basically recruit somebody or leave an officer back. Can we recruit an officer for this? Kapitän, das kann deine neue Crew sein. Lassen Sie mich wissen, wenn Sie Ihre Dokumente. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just show me the stuff, dude. I don't need the speech. So he's what, a radio officer? And what's he? Is he like a commander or something? Unless you are lucky to get a mission with a contact expert that allows to research anything. An engineer? What, well, he's an engineer? So he's a leader, he's a radio engineer, is he? And these are just seamen or something. Is that how it works? Check the skills of the radio operator on the sub to see if he has the contact skill. See the radio guy. Character screen. Skills. No, I don't think he's got anything. You have two engineers on board. Do we need two engineers on board? Well, what's the best? Do we do we not research this then? Just ignore it for now. Sailing with one engineer really sucks. Okay, so that's yeah, that answers that question. I wouldn't mind that snorkel though. You can research radar or hydrophone if you have a spare radium and available. I don't know if we do. Actually, we've got one boarded, and we have one who's not boarded, so can't we use him? We've got a spare radium, and so maybe we can just research something else. So we could learn... What's the best thing? Can research radar or hydrophone. Well, this hydrophone is there. There you go. Radar detector. Working on a device that will be able to detect these radars from large distances and give our U-boats early warning. Our U-boats will be much safer from air patrols and this would allow them to simply submerge long before the aircraft arrives at their location. <laughs> 